Okay, guys, so let's say it's Christmas time. You want to do something really awesome, and you want to do a lot of Christmas tree ornaments or something the like. So let's start with a circle. Press Control and Shift. Hold both of them down. We'll start with a circle. We're going to make this circle. See, we've got our uh, deal here locked, the ratio. So we're going to make it. Let's say, you know, a normal Christmas ornament be what? Three inches? Let's make it three inches. All right, and then we're going to go ahead and we're going to say hairline so we can cut it out. And then we're going to do a copy and a paste. And we're going to make a half inch by half inch that also cuts out. We're going to drag it up here. And we're going to leave it on this quadrant right there. Quadrant. Good. Alright, then we're going to take, we're going to cut out the center of this thing. Then we're going to control D to duplicate. We're going to make this tiny because it's really just going to hold the little ornament holder, the little metal. So we're going to make it 0.1. And then we're going to go ahead and cut this line out so that we maintain a solid form here. We're going to control G. And now, we are set. This is the shape of our current ornament. And we'll make another circle. We're just going to click on the circle tool. We're going to hold Control, Shift, drag it to whatever size. It really doesn't matter because we're going to resize it anyway. And I would like to have, I don't know, maybe 0.2 inches all the way around the inside as a border. So, 0.2 inches off of the 3 inches that we made it. 0.2 and 0.2 is 0.4. From 3 is 2.6, so we make it 2.6. We leave the border at a half point so it doesn't cut, and we just drag to the center and drop it in place. Now we are all set. So here's what I want us to do next. First, we're going to do this two different ways. So let's go ahead. Select the whole thing, Control D to duplicate, and drag another copy down here. We're going to do two different types of ornaments. The first is we're going to turn this inside circle into an empty power clip. And that's going to be great for putting in some imagery. Okay. The second, let's just say that we might want to say uh, Merry Christmas. 2019 is going to be the year that's coming up. So let's do that. Let's uh, put it up here and choose a different font. I'm a fan of this particular font, but it's not that big of a fan of me um, for what we're wanting to do. We're going to do it anyway. We're going to drag it like so. I want to put it up in here somewhere. And I need it to tie to the outside. For this particular one, let's take and turn this over here. And we're going to hairline it out too. Bam. Bring this. That still seems a little big. I want it to connect a bit like so, but it's still big. So let's shift, hold. And that's 64.8. This is going to not be 68 or 64.8 because that will make it way too big. Look at the size of the thing. That's nuts. But we can shrink it a bit. We're going to drag down here. Put that center. Alright, and then we're going to select all of that and we're going to go 
appear to object shaping weld. Ah, it welded backwards. It welded the back to the front. Control Z. Let's do this with a no interior. Oh no, it's welding the outside lines. What the hell am I thinking? Duh. Alright, so let's move this over here. Let's get this off of there. Let's put these together. Yes, it's jacking with me. It's lower than the rest of the number, or the rest of the letter. There we go. That looks all right. And then, let's make that a bit Now, I'm going to take this, select it all, go to object, shaping, weld. Now it's all welded in one complete form. We're going to take it and put it in here. Let's give it a hairline. And once we have a hairline, we can no color the inside of this too. And shift again, drag it. There's supposed to be a shortcut to weld, but if I weld this, it's going to cut all of the inside out, I believe. Yeah, see, I don't want to do that. I just want to lose a little bit of the outside. No, I just want to keep that. So, let's make it easy. Make it easy. Make it easy. That's already hairline. Change that. This is that curve. It's hairlined also. But then we're going to take and we're actually going to cut these down. Alright. Now with that done, we can group. That says center. That is not center. I don't know what it's trying to do. Center. Okay. That looks pretty good. So what's going to happen is all of this is going to be cut out. And the 
rest of this is going to be left in. So that's fine. That'll hold the dot for the Christmas. I don't think I like the way this one and everything is falling off, though. So I want to connect it here. And to do that, I'm That'll be hanging by this little dangler. And then we have to go and double check that none of our stuff is going to fall off. So that's connected, that's connected, that's connected. These are all four hanging. That's fine. This is connected here to the outside. The rest of this is all good. That's all good. We need to do something with the Mary, though. So let's freehand. That line is straight. This one looks like crap. So, Control D to duplicate. Step it up a bit. About that wide is fine. And then I'm going to come behind and go clip, clip. Get this extra edge off the end so they don't need it. And actually, this is fine, but that's so tiny that I have a feeling it'll actually burn and just fall right off. And I don't want it to do that, so I want to hold a little bit more. That dot's fine. And then the Mary goes up and is held in place here. The S is held over here. None of this is falling off. That'll be notched out. The rest of this is fine. And I tell you, this looks a little bit janky to me. And I guess it's not. Merry Christmas 2019. That's how it's done. Everything is cutting out hairlines. I'm just going to have this little bitty spot there. But let's make it bigger. Let's make a better control. The hairline there. I'm going to cut off the excess. Because that little point will just jack us up. Rid of the little point there. Just like so. Clickety clickety. Whoa, 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 whoa. How dare you do that to me? Okay. Now it is. That's all that was. But the rest of this looks fine. I'm actually going to go ahead and control G to group it, and it will be ready to go here shortly. I'm going to move this over here just to get it out of the way. Move this over here. And this over here. Now, I actually want to go find a really cool image to go put inside here. So let's do that. Let's go to Google. Let's go, uh, I don't know, it's Christmas. Christmas grayscale images. Sure, why not? Oh, that's really pretty. Let's look at it. I like that. That's pretty, don't you think? So let's, uh, First off, make sure we can actually use this. Now, I'm going to use it regardless, but that's because I happen to be doing this for a video and not to sell. But if you're looking for something to sell, you go over here to Settings, Advanced Search. And you're going to scroll down to Usage Rights.
and you're going to say uh, free to use or share uh, or modify even commercially that's if you're going to change it if you're not going to change it and you're just going to use it then right here advanced search and bam all of these are available for advanced search now let's find something that looks good christmas and let's uh let's actually just instead of saying images let's or instead of saying uh grayscale let's say And these are all different things. Let's uh, let's utilize some of them for the next little project we're gonna do. Uh, we're gonna do this guy. I like him. So we're gonna save that image as whatever in the downloads folder. And then bam, that's fine, no problem. But for what we're doing, let's uh, let's go back a page. I wanna. I like. Image is pretty. Some of these are pretty too. I want to see what they look like. Let's see who these are. That's not exactly a circle, so let's see. Oh, okay, no. No, that's too bad. It's not quite that bad. If it wasn't 500 by 500, it might be fine. But it is much better than that. Let's see. We're going to use this. And save image there also. Save. Then we're going to go back to our corral. What's up, Skeeter? Yeah, it's not a bad idea. All right. So we're going to go ahead and import Control I uh, this picture that we just looked at. Oh, it's so tiny. Hold on. We can't use that image. It's super, super tiny. And I don't know how to make it big. Oh, my God. Kid. Kittens. Oh, and it's a big picture, too. Come on, load up proper. Don't make me do no nonsense. Bastards. Christmas kittens. We're going to look at Christmas kittens. That's going to be okay. I'm going to save image. And import. Control I. Kittens. And this thing's 20 by 30 inches, so. That is plenty of dots for us. Now, first thing I want to do is go to bitmaps, to mode, turn it black and white. That loses the whiskers. We bring it back. There's the whiskers. They're back, but the eyes got a little dark. So we'll do it just like that. That looks good. Then we're going to trace, outline, detailed logo because there's a lot of stuff. We can go ahead and reduce the bitmap. I actually want to remove the white from the entire picture. And then bam. And then I'm just literally going to drag it and drop it inside the power clip thing. And then I'm going to edit the power clip and do my resizing from inside here. I'm going to hold down shift and bring it all the way down to like that size almost. And drag it a little, a little smaller actually. That size, and then we've got all the kittens, plenty and plenty of everything. So uh, at that point, we're gonna hit this button, and bam, we've made a cute little wheel here, and it's ready to be engraved. So we are gonna go ahead and do these two right now. Now, what we should end up with is all of this stuff. all joined together and then since, since
Skeeter said uh, he'd like to see this stuff. And this eclipse is not. This is a half point. So we're fine. This shows us everything that's going to cut versus everything that's going to engrave. But when I do this, no, it's fine. All I have to do is go to print. We're going to go to preferences. We're still using the same page from the other two videos. Um, and we're actually going to do combined raster and vector. I want to raster at 50% speed and 100% power. I want to vector at 20% speed and 100% power, somewhere around 500 frequency. So this is all good. Uh, the dithering doesn't really matter. It's not grayscale, so Jarvis is fine. And uh, the DPI, the resolution is fine also. So I'll just hit OK, apply. OK, and we will go into the back room and see it be done on the laser. We are still already manually focused, so don't forget to focus if you haven't already started. Up, see what we got here. Yep, it didn't stick very well. I made my letters the wrong size. See, my C and my S stayed fine. The rest of it, though, broke loose because the lettering was just too tiny. However, my kittens are super pretty, so that's a thing. All right, control import this guy. That's cutesy. I like it. So, first things first, we're going to bitmap mode to black and white. Now you see here, this is janky. It's got something to do with the type of image that it is. If we try to trace, we can end up with the same stuff. Ah, but it traced good that time, so we're fine. Okay, and then we're going to go object shaping boundary. And just to make sure that it doesn't do any weird stuff, drag the boundary off. Sure that we're all still controlled there. Everything's good. Control Z it back on. Turn the boundary to a hairline. And then resize. Put it over there. Power clip inside. How about Power clip inside there. Bam. All good. Then resize. Everything's pretty good at that point. All of the black is going to engrave. The lines are going to engrave. And then whatever text you decide to put in is going to engrave. So. Center it off. That was not centered. There, that's centered. We're going to go back up here to the picker tool. We're going to change to we're drag it over. And we're going to make it bigger. Let's make our little half inch and duplicate, change it to 0.1, mouse over both of them, hairline them both, and we're just going to go right there, up a little I think, like that, then we'll just delete. see here that we need to go in and delete that part. Now 
and then we're good. So let's print. References, raster and cut both, yes, yes, everything else is good. We hit apply, we hit okay, we go back to the camera.